Welcome to the Prep Pigskin Report Podcast, hosted by Papa Pig himself, Paul Rudy. Hey everybody, welcome to the PPR Podcast number 13, lucky number 13. You know me, I'm Paul, this is Bert. Bert, Hi. you've known these kids for how long? Pretty long, not as long as you though, actually. Introduce everybody. Uh, you're going to make me do this. <laughs> Terrell Robinson <laughs> and Kyrie Kimbrough. Yes, Lincoln, sir. San Diego High. Yes, sir. And former opponents, or would have been a, a playoff opponents, but now business partners. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so we'll get into all that, but just quickly, uh, do you guys still follow the PPR at all? Of course. You, yes, uh, I don't watch it like on actual TV as much. But I, I keep up with y'all on Instagram and right. Facebook. Because uh, we watch some birds. I, I, I guess uh, the reason why I bring it up tomorrow, uh, we're recording this on a Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Wednesday is National Signing Day, and I, I was wondering if you guys have any memories of making your decisions. I, I, I remember you, you started the whole parade, to Oregon. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. sir. You, you and your brother, and yeah, uh, Kyrie was in the hospital on Sunday. Yeah, day. <laughs> <laughs> you had a horrific leg injury, yeah, yeah. and your collegiate career was in doubt. Yeah. It so, was, just quickly, if you guys, we'll start with the duck. It. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> T- tell us about that. Your what your your memories of signing day? The signing day was crazy. We, I remember we was at the Hall of Champions. Uh, me and my brother, we had a big decision to make. Oregon was like the easiest decision because the Nike, man, it was. And and then now to see our our little brothers from from Lincoln High School to follow our footsteps, it's amazing. It's yeah. amazing. They just shooting them out over there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the pipeline. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like whenever we have a kid uh, from Lincoln who's going to be making his college decision, yeah. like, get why the Oregon you, stats yeah, out. Yeah, right. just, yeah, just get the Oregon video. Yeah, you already know where he's going. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, yeah. Why is that? It's the O. It's the O. It's something about that O. Why not San Diego State, though? Yeah, but imagine if all those kids went to San Diego State. No, for sure. Uh, that was definitely a decision of me and my brothers also, but that green, it just feels too good to be in. You're already coming from Lincoln, too. Yeah. That and and yeah. I'm told the recruiting process there. They have designed a recruiting process that appeals to an 18 year old. Like yes. they are so dialed into what an 18 year old is about. Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, all the gifts and gadgets, the gear, um, meeting field night in person. It's crazy. You can't say no to say no to something like that. Okay. Uh, that could have been you, if not for her. Uh, and uh, man, I, I don't mean to, because I remember working. That, yeah. that and, and, and all, all man, it became controversial and the ugliness, the slow response from the medical team. Yeah, that was just was, a disastrous night. That and, was, and it, were you worried like, oh my, I'm never gonna be able to get. To oh play yeah, college that ball? was like, that was life. The most probably the most life changing moment I ever had. Still up, still up until this day, I don't think I've ever faced like that much adversity. Still like to this day, I feel like since that now, like all the adversity I face is like. I don't even blink. It's like whatever. Definitely. I can handle everything. Cause I was so young when that happened. Oh, I know. And I ain't really, you know, I'd, UCLA, Washington State, San Diego State was on the verge of offering me too. But I was already committed to UCLA. Me and uh, I don't know if you remember my my bro Eric Judge. Sure. I'll be throwing all the touchdowns. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. And Deshaun Scott. All three of us were committed. Um, so pretty much everything was set up. Like big man on campus. Yeah. You know, my, my dad's the coach and he, you know, he works at the school too. So it was it was always love. I feel like nobody's seen that coming at all. Man. It was, I definitely leaned up to that week though. It was, it was weird. I was sick that week. I didn't practice all week, you know, but you know, I'm a ball player. I was gonna be, it's Morris too. I was gonna yeah. be ready regardless. I didn't even warm up. I was like drinking Gatorade on the side. I'm, I'm not warming up. So everything was already kind of off. I won't even lie to you, it was off. You can ask my dad too, everything yeah. was off. Um, but you know, I've always been like game time. Once I put my helmet on, like I'm, I'm locked in. <laughs> and I play. It just happened so fast, honestly. Still to this day, like. I, oh, we, we we didn't show it. it was <laughs> yeah, like I mean, it was, so it was Joe Theismann bad. Yes. Yeah. Jo- oh, yeah. And, and then that took forever for the ambulance to come. Were you were you around? Like that guy, were you doing that? that? Louisville. No, I wasn't. Mm-hmm. I was at. Uh, I think I was at Hoover then, but. Yeah, I remember it, and you guys never showed it, so I never what? saw You want to show the clip now? You no, it? no, no, I'm never. <laughs> Dude, it still makes me, it yeah. gives me the heebie-jeebies. Let me ask you a question, though. I'm sorry. So when you get a horrific injury like that, I mean, a life-changing injury, and then you came back and played. You played for, for me at Strike Force. Yeah. Um, are you hesitant at all? Like, do you, I mean, do you ever, like, walk out there, and you're like, and that comes back to you, and you, you see somebody coming, and it's hesitant, and you just, nah. it's, it's gone? Now, I'm 27 now, just turned 27. Now it's like, I don't even think about it. But, like, after my rehab, and then I ended up going to uh, Grossmont. I had to go to Juco. I was out for like 11 months. I, oh, I almost had to learn I how remember. to kind of run again. 
uh, like strengthening my leg. And you know, I'm like 215 now, but in high school I was like a buck 60, buck 70. You were the quickest sure. kid yeah, on so, the field. You know, yeah, so it was, bones wasn't that strong now, obviously, but um, I think just after that first, after that first year, once I got past that in JUCO, especially playing quarterback, you know, it's always people by your legs right, that can yeah. roll into your right. legs. I think once I got past that, I was good after that. Yeah. You had a horrific or a bad injury that ended your career. You had an injury that almost ended your career. I'm sure you've had bumps and bruises. <laughs> I just had a reason one. Yeah. <laughs> so knowing all that. And well, I, he had a, I don't know, we signed him a strike force. Yeah, and he had an injury yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. with uh, Philadelphia, and then yeah. that turned into like a year-long thing again, too. That's where, what I was referring to. No, where you, you three uh, guys have had significant injuries. Mike, I ask it all three of you, knowing what you know, knowing the pain you've endured, knowing why we still do it. No, with that, and what you, what do you say? Are you guys? Do you have kids? Are you are? Yes, just had a daughter. For four months well, now. congratulations. Thank, uh, hopefully, she will not play tackle football, but <laughs> nowadays she might. <laughs> yeah. What is your advice to other parents out there who are con who are on the fence about is it safe enough to play football? I mean, honestly, everything is a risk uh, with business, sports. Uh, it's all related. Mm -hmm. I just say whatever you, whatever you do, do it 100 percent and uh, give it your all. Can't be scared to do things, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't do anything being uh, second guessing yourself and your ability. Um, Cause I could have easily, after my injury, I could have easily went out there and I, you know, I don't, knowing how talented I am, but just cause of my leg, I could have second guessed. And sometimes for some people, like I know you see a, a lot of major athletes, they have those type of injuries and they don't really come back for them. Right. Cause it's more of the mental thing than the, the physical. They think about it too much. You know, sometimes they never the same player again, some for some players. So I feel like as long as the mental's right, and like he said, as far as like, you know, having your children play tackle football and stuff, it's a risk, but everybody loves football. Their kids, they're going to want to get into it at some point, whether it's flag. So I feel like it's, it's I don't know, it's kind of hard. Got to do what you yeah, love. Got to do, do what you this love. This guy has an injury. You, you think the injury might have saved you cognitively. Well, sometimes. I Depends what day you Your theory is that you... I, yeah, for me, it wasn't. I, I ended up... You know, going into my seventh year, I hurt my neck, and it wasn't, you know, at the time, you don't, it, it's not like today. So you get a neck injury, and you're seven years, you get a neck surgery, you're done regardless. But, yeah, um, yeah if I would play three or four more years, I mean, most of the guys that played ten years that I know are, are a little loopy now. So I think that really, said, plus I was, I didn't really hit anybody. I was, <laughs> yeah, I was a, a finesse player. Finesse player. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so you're, I, I, you're I, I don't speak. know. Yeah. All right, well, so guys, as much as, and I want to go down memory lane a little bit longer as okay. we're, we're getting up on our Silver Pigs yeah. and Gala, which I hope you guys will attend. Yes, yeah, yeah. sir. We'll I, was be at there. The, I was at the last yeah. one, too. Uh, but, but, but attend, and maybe we can work out a, like a little trinket for each one of the finalists. Because so because what I want to talk about is your business. Yes, yeah, sir. How deep pockets? You call it deep pockets, last time. You call it deep pockets. I heard. We watched yeah. it. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. 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 I got you. It's heavy pockets. <laughs> Tell us about the business venture and how it became you two and not two other folks. I mean, what was the connection that you guys felt with one another? I'll, 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 I'll I mean, first. we're best friends, so yeah. I mean, partnering up was the, the, probably the easiest thing in the world. Um, as you can see, my brother, man, probably one of the best dressed guys I know in San Diego. I appreciate um, it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. But you are. You're very stylish. This is. I thought yeah. you were. I, he must be living in L.A. Oh, <laughs> that's, what, yeah. that's what I thought. <laughs> Wait, before you, before you go, did you guys... I, I, love, I love going out there. Uh, you know, did you guys... Yeah. Were you best friends before, or was it from Strike Force? I mean, his um, dad is a legend. Yeah, he you know, coached Pops, every generation. Pops is... Everybody know Pops, but I would say, what, about, like, maybe three, four years ago? Three, four years... We always knew each other. I'll put that out there. San Diego, it's San Diego football, high school football at that... So whether it's passing league or whether we didn't play each other, like I said about PPR, all you gotta do is pull up PPR and you'll see who the best players are in the city, who's making plays. All right, San Diego Ballers. And we played AAU basketball together too. He played for the Oakland Soldiers, I played for the Dream Vision. So we would always come across each other, him and his brother Tyrese. So we always knew each other, but we weren't as close. Obviously he went to Oregon and right. what happened to me and right. you know we were kind of doing our own thing for a while, but I say probably three, four years ago. Arena ball. Yeah, so arena ball. Canada. I started playing in the IFL. Well, I played in the NAL first. Um, for the Massachusetts Pirates, I had a good season, and I ended up getting pulled up to the IFL, which at that point I didn't know was the best like arena league, other than the AFL. Not, but the AFL folded, and I remember just you know every week just calling in with him, just checking in with him, telling him how everything was doing, and I was like throwing it out there, like bro, you, sh 
you would kill it. Like you, you would come in this league and like go crazy. It's all your abilities, it's, it's perfect for you to just put your abilities on display. So he took my advice. He ended up signing with the uh, Philly Soul. So mm -hmm. ended up going to the AFL Championship on ESPN. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. That's right. Amazing. So you know, didn't know that was didn't know that was gonna happen. I was, we was together too. We was together too. Uh, I think I was just getting done getting my hair cut. Or I don't know. We was just getting done working out. Before we went. Uh -huh. And the Philly coach called him. We were together, telling him that yeah, we want to sign you. He literally had to leave like three days after that. He ends up going to the championship playoffs. One of their best players. Um, so when we got, we, we were just, ever since the then, we were just extra, extra close, like talking every day. Um, and then after the Strike Force, we, you know, signed with Burt. Obviously, COVID happened and stuff, but we were going to have a squad. Crazy. He pretty team. much probably signed the best roster I've seen in the IFL, like, since I've, huh? since, yeah. since I've been playing. I'm talking about NFL players. <laughs> yeah, we'll get you in. College players, all that. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, and then we really got close, obviously. Coming home, coming back to sign with Bert and play at home, so we're we're obviously already close. Um, but we always mentally, the football part's always we always been close with that. But mentally, we just the last couple of years we just been elevating our mind uh, on a business tip. Right. You know, football is not forever. Everybody know that. For any young guys that's out there that think it is, you know, y'all should know that too. Um, so you know, we wanted to dive into our entrepreneurship. Uh, just you know, just a little early to see what we could do. I get that. Yeah. You guys are great athletes, mm. and you're obviously smarter right. than whips. I, right. I, I, <laughs> but that doesn't mean you 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 know how to make a like Bert and I. If we wanted oh, to make shallow icon. pockets, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we, 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 we wouldn't know how to get started. <laughs> so yeah. like, walk us through the the machinations of all that. You got this. Well, he got the building. I'll put that out. He got the building first. I was playing. I was in Iowa. I, I had just got done playing for the Iowa Barnstormers. I was gone. He was pretty much down here doing the, the business for us, if you say so. Found a good building. Actually, he had been looking for a building for like months and months. Couldn't Crazy. find one. Got you know, we're 27. twice. Everybody's trying to hit us over the head for rent. Can't find a good spot, especially for what we were trying to do. And we didn't even know what we were trying to do right. at that point. We didn't know we wanted yeah, to do heavy pockets. We didn't know. We were we got the building and we're like, we're trying to do something. Okay, now we're like, we just literally sitting there like, okay, we got the building now. We're, we're paying rent now. Now what do we do? Are you gonna start a shop up? No, what? <laughs> like, yeah. what literally. Dive um, head first. And then we just brain every day brainstorming, linking up, working out, just brainstorming. Uh, still staying in tight with the football. Right. You know, I always stay on my training no matter what. But like I said, diving into the entrepreneurship, trying to see what we can make shake. Um, and it just kind of hit us. Like he said, I've always been the Burt knows too. I'm a, I'm a flash. He's like, I like wearing like stuff, jewelry, all that. I just, I've always been like that since I was younger. Liking my girls post um, on social media all the time too. Yeah, yeah his, his no wife, respect. His wife, his wife, like, that's like my auntie right there. No shout respect. Out, shout out she to really digs me more. <laughs> <laughs> See, this yeah. is got Bill Belichick on here to deal with this one. Play, you know what I mean? But we don't want to talk about uh, the uh, No, uh, so uh, like I was saying, um, we was just thinking and. Um, I have so many plugs, you know, I'm plugged in with a lot of people in Dubai, uh, fashion designers in New York, Dubai, Germany, China. And I know those people just from being a buyer, just from buying stuff for myself, just cause that's, that's how I am. So we thought about it and I'm just like, that's it, like boom. Like I already buy the stuff for myself. Mm -hmm. I'm always, I'm always stay fresh, but I'm like, we might as well just put it in the store. Give I it just to the world. The shoes, we just give it to the world. You asked your, your, your dad, and old, we used to go to Oak Tree, remember that Oak Tree? <laughs> and they had the, the rayon matching like shorts. And, I remember that. They were yeah. telling you they were. We, well, all, we uh, also got consignment ship too. Uh, yeah, with, oh, uh, there you local go, yeah. brands. Yeah, so. You want some of my stuff? You come down my closet. Definitely. You take we, we gotta get it yeah, in there. First got like say out shirt right here. He's worn these camo warm ups for, we've done 13 I'm of trying, these look, for 12 times. I'm glad we're here. <laughs> I'm glad we're here so I can say this. Fix that mess away. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you and everybody else. I'm gonna I'm gonna get his wardrobe right. He's gonna start coming here looking way better. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna start looking earned, a lot better. He was the eighth pick in the NFL draft. <laughs> yeah, you should be really presenting much better him. than you are. Well, I don't coach no more. No, <laughs> no respect. No, 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 no. Yeah, what, what, what kind of coach was he? Motivated. I saw too. Motivated saw for sure. Motiv he's. <laughs> you want me to be honest, or you want me to give yeah. the, the KUSI? You must be honest. No, I want to be honest. Um. He, he took the words out of my mouth. Definitely a motivator. Um, he's not a uh, he's not a real hands-on coach. He's not gonna, oh, you're doing this wrong. I'm gonna, you know, if he hires an OC, a DC, or whatever, he's gonna expect them to do their job, and, I, and I'll do mine as a head coach. 
he's more of an over overseas coach. But you know, when he talks to us, you know, we we hear him. Like it's not that he's just talking whenever. We know when he says something to us, then it means some. Definitely a players coach. Yeah, definitely yeah. a players coach. That, 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 for sure. You're a delegator. Oh you're, no, you're yeah. A delegator. I yeah. called not a micromanager, but you called a delegator. <laughs> you're right. You're right. I do. Yeah. I do. All right. All right. So guys. Wait, what's it? Can what's yeah. the location? Yeah, what's well, it? Uh, 40, 4125 Alpha, Alpha Street. Street. Mm -hmm. Um, if you've ever been on 805 and you get off on 43rd. You know South. where the Northgate Market's at? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Right behind it, there's a, a plaza called Southcrest Plaza. And we're, we're like the store in the corner. The corner do you do your business brick and mortar, or are you an online? Is we have both. both. We have Physical, both. online? Like right now. So um, like for people who want to surf the web and right now surf your site, website, and see what is available, where would they go? Heavypockets.com with a Z. Heavypockets.com. Pockets with a Z. Can't forget that. With a Z. Yes, yeah, sir. Right. And when's the actual I, store open? December 4th, December 4th before opening. Right. opening. Oh, we need all you guys. Oh, to come hey, out. I'll. Yeah, we need the, the whole. We'll have you on the morning show. We'll do a. We need come all. Come on. That. Yes, sir. It's <laughs> gonna be a lot of people here. It's gonna be a lot of people there. Like, yeah, but, a lot but, of people. but now we're like tight now, right? Yes, sir. Come on. Yeah. 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 So like, yeah. We'll, we'll help you out for the, sure. the night before. Come on the morning show. Brandon will have you on the evening show. Yes, sir. Dope. Can we get some cameras? 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. That's love. But That's I mean, because I, I I think the message of this podcast, Bert, is disrespect is, towards me. That's what I get. <laughs> That's what I get as a message. I think the message is is the the, uh, the quote that I want to rally around is football's not forever. You got to have your because like you play football and it's a great it's the yeah. greatest team game. Blah blah. blah. Yeah. I love it. You know, I only played yeah. for a little while. You guys yeah. play much longer. The um, but it's all, only a act one. Right. It's not hard though. I think that's what a lot of people gotta understand. It's not a, it's not a like I gotta choose football or I can't do business until right. I'm done with football. Right. Like I have three contract offers right now. I'm gonna go play one more season in IFL, and I plan on going to play in Canada or the USFL. I'm still Bert knows. I'm still locked in all the way football wise. Like if he was the coach for the San Diego Strike Force, I, I would be suited up, training camp ready to go. But as far as our business, um, we took an approach to where you know we have a manager, we have employees. Um, everybody that's in our business is family. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not any outsiders. So the people that we have taking uh, taking care of things for us, you know, as far as our accountant, you know, in-house bookkeeper, you know, people that do our taxes. We got a tax guy. Like we have all that. But that's stuff that people don't know. Right. Just being a football player. Like right. if you was just, just if you're a football player, you just open up a store. You wouldn't know nothing about taxes, right. rent, renters insurance. It's so, yeah, it's so much other stuff that go into it. But it's possible. Like it's not not doable. I and also to piggyback what Kyrie said, um, football definitely helps like the business side as far as and you can you can play football to build your brand. You don't mm -hmm. gotta play football just to go to the NFL. Right. Um, <clears throat> football is, is, a, is a sport played all across the globe, just like basketball. So I, I feel like if I would have known that before, uh, we would have used yeah. that as you know just marketing our brand yeah. and you know the, That's the whole what I don't business think side kid, of it. Yeah, kids don't mm -hmm. get that. It's and and mostly the PPR. I mean, you build a brand in this town just playing Quit. in high school, like right. a brand Quit. like the, the last 10, 15, 20 years. Social media is crazy now. But I think yeah. you guys would be surprised now with the, with the NC two A basically in the, yeah, 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 imploding yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. and the name image and likeness deal it's so much exploding. bigger. Right. Uh, you, you have kids now that are thinking. With their social media and they're they're already game plan. I told him right. the other day, I'm yeah. like, bro, when we played, if yeah. that NIL, man, you would have loved it. Crazy. Would have been rich. When we play, if we play when I play, we didn't have phones, <laughs> yeah. no internet, nothing. Yeah, though. but yeah. you guys are doing. I, I saw the We're rise you come in. You guys are you're selling some clothes. I mean, I <laughs> try to, we try. We try, man. We try, we try, we try to be try. like you, man. We, we, it's a big step you, for us. I think you surpassed me. <laughs> it's a big moment. We up here at Paul Rudy. Yes, yeah, sir. Most, wow. most of our most of our friends bucket list. Most of our friends don't don't get to do this type of stuff. Even with Bert, like. You know, see, I, I'm up here with Paul Rudy, and then I get even with Bert. <laughs> That's the just Paul, see what yeah, happened. That's Paul, why I'm like, I'll this is the best friend I have. This is all I can only. come up with. Right. My, yeah, right, I should be specific. Yeah. This is the only friend I have. Well, Brandon still turned you down, so I, I feel it. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, so Wait, guys, one more thing. Hold up. Yeah, you know, Paul and I are coaching a high school all star game. Like, I'm you guys come too. out there and help. Oh, yeah, you are? I'm an assistant coach on uh, uh, whoever's team I'm pops is on. I'm about to clear you. I'm coaching receivers. Is the old man going to coach with us? Yeah. Yeah. Tell your dad, he, he doesn't like me very much. He's never said a kind thing ever. Man, Pops is... He don't like nobody. He, he's but dogged I mean, me last night about 20 yeah, years yeah. now. He has never Pops said is, a kind Pops thing. Is, Pops is an OG, man. He's different. Uh, yeah, he is. He come from where he come from, and that's that's that. He ain't going to change up for nobody. It's not he don't like you. Um, 
you probably you might have said some stuff back no. in the day. Oh, San Diego, sure. yeah, but that, <laughs> that's, that's here and there. That's that's here and there. Yeah, it's here and there. But he's. I, I could call him right yeah, now. Yeah. He he has no issue with that. That's yeah. my guy right there. Yeah, that's, that's our, <laughs> no, Louis Riddick's a different story. <laughs> that's yeah, like no, no, no. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know about him. He, you do need to talk to him about that though. All yeah. three of them They're on that Steelers Monday fans, night. Cast. Yeah, they only have a problem when the Steelers are on. That's the only time they have I mean, a problem. If they, if they could play the Bears every night, they'd be uh, yeah, that's true. Be a good football. Yeah. Uh, wow, that's why right. he don't like it. <laughs> there you go. Um, oh, can man. we can we just swing this back to how much time we got? We got a little time left. Swing it back to high school football. I don't know if you guys have. Do you guys follow the scene as to who's who uh, anymore? Or, Definitely. Because we have six silver picks in finals, one of which is from... I don't know. I know he might. I don't know who the... I don't know okay. any of okay. the silver so picks. So then let, let me ask you this question. We had the tough task of we had five kids from Lincoln that could have conceivably been on our podium. And you, mm. right. But you can't pick all five, obviously. Yeah, I got three Jaleel. picks already. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Jaleel, so, Jaleel, and what's the other one? Uh, the uh, corner. Jaleel, it was Jaleel and Jaleel. Yeah. Jaleel, Jaleel and Jaleel. Yeah, they I both just Jaleel. called both. Those are only two from Lincoln. Those the running back, Robinson, he got my last name. Robinson, he, I didn't know yeah. that running back. By the time this airs, I think yeah, I can Acevedo. say this. Because Acevedo is going to be up for an award. Robinson is going to be up for an award. But we picked the quarterback. He's nice. Daniel. So tell it, t- t- tell it, because we're getting, you know, a lot of people, you, you pick six kids, and when there's 30 that easily could be on the podium, right. you have 24 people that think you're a complete yeah. moron. Right, right, right. So back us up a little bit on the selection of, of Jalen Daniels. Man, Jalen Daniels, that guy right there, he's, he's going to be special. Um, I know as far as Lincoln, you know, we had a problem at the quarterback position. So for him to come and mm-hmm. do the things that he did, it's amazing. Um, I think he can fit any system uh, in the next level. Uh, he's definitely a perfect pick, though, for the silver pick skin. Boy, I, I met him for the first time when we went on campus. Great kid. You guys, you wouldn't believe how big the show's gotten now. It's crazy, huh? I mean, like, well, if we, we didn't We talk have, about it all the time. They yeah. get so much more, like, we, like, we kind of get jealous. It's like, they get way more love than we, than we yeah, used to yeah. get. Back like, in the day, so we, we got to 12, 15 games. We thought that was a great night. Yeah. Uh, now, that's our first block. Right. I mean, and we're going to have... If we didn't have COVID restrictions, we would fill the Rock Church with our, on our gala on right. the third. We outgrew uh, an aircraft here. So uh, with the restrictions, how many people are you guys going to be well, we're, yeah. <laughs> we're working on that. It's still going to be a big sh- Yeah, gala, yeah no, of course. Of but course. it's going to be, like, we could have 2,500. We're probably going to have to chop it down to See, that's the business. Hey, that's my old, right I'm a model, too, the Rock Church. Yeah. But uh, uh, we got to talk a little bit about uh, what would it cost me to get, like, the six little gifts for items. Um, What's the how expensive when, is your line? That'd be easy. We can yeah, work that yeah. out. For you, for you, we. Yeah, just, we'll, well, I mean, can you give me something at cost? It just depends. You gotta tell me I, what you I, want. I, I I yeah, no, I want. I want to make these make it more memorable. Gala for the six finals. But you like Louis, lots, uh, off white shoes, <laughs> clothes. You gotta tell me clothes, <laughs> shoes, yeah, whatever you want. Well, they want shoes. They want shoes. Louis, lots, clothes. You know. I like this ebony and ivory that we have. When's the When's the gala again? On November thirtieth, Tuesday. Yeah. 21 days from, yeah, we from have, this recording. We have uh, we still have like shipments for our store coming in. Like they've been coming in all month, so this stuff. Coming Has in. the politics of the, uh, the all the uh, shipping vessels being off the coast of the oh, port yeah. is, that, is that killing you? The yeah, line? we've been having to pay like, um, cause my my guy that I get my stuff from overseas, like in Dubai and Germany, uh, there's only certain stuff I get from China. Uh, you know, that's where most of the stuff comes from first. Mostly like Air Force Ones, yeah, certain stuff. But Dubai and Germany, I get most of my stuff there. And we got to pay like $500, $600 extra just to get it here. And that's with COVID. So it's still going to take about seven wow. to 10 days. But we got to pay $500, $600 to expedite it. And, you know, when it comes to customs, that's pretty much what takes the longest when it goes to customs and they look at everything. Once it goes through that, Boom, it's, it's off. Yeah, it's off. Right. So. But does everything come through LA for you? No, everything comes through here. Through San Diego. Yeah, through San, San Diego. Diego. You think I'll be in LA a lot, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, he seen my car. You think yeah. I'll be? I, I ain't gonna lie, my. You guys are paying some serious uh, gasoline fees. Yeah, I'm in yeah. San Diego. You know, I like the beach. <laughs> yeah, but you're supposed to. In, you live in California now. Now you're supposed to be having. You should be driving yeah. Teslas. Yeah, oh, come on. That's man. the next car. Actually, uh, uh, someone I'm talking to right now, uh, she has a Tesla. And I ain't gonna lie, I, I like it a lot. Yeah. I never really used to like them, but someone I seen I'm hers to. and I'm, I that really like dating. it. Someone that I'm that talking is, to. Yeah, you don't know someone I'm means. talking to. Someone that talking. is the yeah. status symbol of the climate conscious. Exactly. The Tesla. The someone Tesla. I'm talking to. <laughs> you need to use it's that for not. yourself. Hey. I'm talking to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we can listen, let's just, let's just wrap this up. Um, We're gonna see him at the All-Star game. Yeah, we're gonna spend yeah. all coaches' special teams. Yes, he's not. Co- he'll he'll probably pull it. He's not coach, but I'm a coach. So I don't. 
I don't like losing. But so. Available though, yeah. if I want to make you a coach. <laughs> All right. You know, I'm on out. I told yes, him the last season, or the first season, the only season that you played. I uh, I said, listen, we want to come in and do a live presentation of your, you know, your uh, Robert, Newt Rockney rah 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 speech in the locker yeah. room, and I, we'll come in and just give me your best thirty seconds. <laughs> so we get the camera and we're live. We are now live inside the Strike Force locker room. And Bert goes, All right, boys, let's get together. Yeah. Let's play hard. And then they, they all ran. <laughs> wait, but that was that first, you remember he that first me, year? He gave wait, me wait, 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 wait. That, was, that had to be when I was in Cedar Rapids. Oh, what? That, that's okay. what that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't I don't remember, remember that. Coaches. I don't remember that. And it was all like people that got from Walmart that got laid off to play. <laughs> And they just threw me in there. I, I got hired a week before the season. I, I went in there and I'm like, oh. eight seconds. It was the best. All right, so uh, let's wrap, wrap this up because I talked to the kids, <laughs> and uh, maybe not necessarily the kids that are D1 kids because yeah. they they have a path. Where it's the other guys that m might have to take your path, mm -hmm. or or at, right now they're worried that they don't have a path. Right. I'll give you guys each the last word as to uh, little moments of inspiration for those kids. Um. I would say uh, anything is possible, um, and I think the one thing a lot of these young kids forget is that um, they think everybody's past the same. They think I have to, like, I have to go to Alabama. I have to be a first-round draft pick. I have to, like, in order, like, everything has to be like that. And then, you know, they get influenced. They see their other friends signing here, signing there. You know, I, I played at two junior colleges, a D2, and an NAIA. <laughs> You know, so I still play professional right now, and I still have an opportunity to play at the next level. So it's it's not about how you start, it's how you finish. So don't let anything define you. You know, adversity going to happen in life, period, not just football. Adversity happens in football every play, every change of position. But in life, flat tire, I ran out of gas, or, you know, I lost my wallet. It's, it's adversity, man. So anything's possible. You put your mind to it uh, and put your grind into it. That's what I will say. Um, nothing's gonna come easy. You gotta really work. I had to, I had to bust my butt after my injury just to be healthy and play at the level. I still, I'm glad that you know God blessed me to play at the level I can still play at now. So, um, just, just stick to your dreams, man, and, and stay focused. Don't worry about the outside stuff. Terrell, you get the last word. Uh, like he said, um, man, just en enjoy the process. Go through the process. Um, just like what he said, uh, I had, I had my my career playing in Canada, playing uh, arena ball, no agent. Um, I still didn't give up, uh, but through that journey, I, I found my passion, mm -hmm. and I always knew I liked the business side and the numbers. I knew I wanted to make money, so when I once I found my passion, uh, I just I just stuck with it, and I tried to I tried to combine the two football and uh, and the business side of it. And like I was saying, man, use use football to market your brand, to market yourself, and man, just like I said, enjoy the process, and you don't know where you'll end up. That's a good point, you know, the process, because so many, everybody's looking forward. You know, you're in high school, you're not enjoying high school, you're looking for yeah, college. I'm looking you're forward. in college, you're ready for the draft. And like, nobody I, actually enjoys man, the time you're there. I wish right. I could have them four years. That was the best yeah. four years of my life. High Football school. is not the only Made way to make that six years and... of my life. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'm going to bet that it's not going to be the best four years. I, I, I just, you guys have an aura about you that yeah. just screams success. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, appreciate, appreciate it. it. And, and that's not artificial, that's just genuine. And I don't know if it's going to be tiddlywinks or it's going to be, <laughs> what do you call it, deep pockets? Deep pockets? I didn't call it. I called it heavy pockets. All right, you quickly, it oh, let's, see. let's end it again. Where can people go to check your uh, stuff out? Heavypockets.com with a Z. Yeah. I'm going to see you at the gala. We're going to talk yeah. before then. Grand, grand opening, December 4th, right. 1 to 5. I'll have Paul. I'll, I'll, I'll be the there. Yeah. I'll be there. 4125 Alpha Street. All so right. everybody come out. It's going to be a big day. Gentlemen, I know. And big thank you to Abraham Mahazy. We should oh, mention. Yeah. Shout out Abe. He, shout he out got Abe. this For started. Sure. He sure. did shout the picks Abe. from the past. Yeah, shout out Abe. And the, but the audio was, I didn't like the audio, so we wanted to do it again. Yeah, so, for sure. So, uh, gentlemen, great. Bert, 